How would you explain what is Suit House about to my mother? I can't hear. I can't All hear right, myself. so did, did I just do the whole thing and mess it up technically? Welcome yes. to my show. <laughs> Oh. So all the introduction Wait. and it was all muted. Apologies. It's great that Anna plans something and it doesn't work out. It, Once... it wouldn't be a quality stream if we didn't uh, screw it up royally right from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once again, this is Rihanna and Jack from Suit House. They are the celebrity guests of today. This is a Suit House chess stream, a fusion you have never seen before, and maybe you will never see again. Depends on how it turns out today. <laughs> Who else is excited about this stream? And Jack, Rihanna, let us know what you said before, because apparently nobody heard it. Uh, okay, well, obviously you gave us a, a lovely introduction. Um, both of us are very excited to be here, obviously. Uh, I'm going to trounce Rihanna. She's she <laughs> into the ground. She's never going to want to play chess again. Um, <laughs> this the, the will be the only set house chess stream because Jack gets so <laughs> butthurt that he doesn't want to come back. All right. <laughs> so I'm teasing there. Of course, I'm team Rihanna. I already announced it on Twitter. So I'm sorry about that, Jack, but I'm here to train Rihanna. She's going to be the world suit house champion. Sorry, I don't. I don't need training. I'm, all, I'm already. Oh, I don't need training. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone here on Twitch, welcome to the stream. This is going to be a fun chess talk show. So what we are going to do? You see a stopwatch there. There, I never know where to point. Next to Jack, forty minutes each. So it's going to be forty minutes for suit house topics, from serious to the crazy ones you can come up with in the chat. I will start with some normal ones. Let's start smooth and ask about how you started and such. And then the other 40 minutes are about chess. We are going to be switching. So some minutes about chess, some minutes about suit house, depending on when the player or the players say that was enough for one turn. Maybe not so clear how this is going to work out, but hopefully you will see it from the first example. And just to mention that this is a stream where Everyone is allowed to say what they feel like. So if you are not comfortable with strong language, then this is the moment to say goodbye to us. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, I had to make that especially <laughs> clear before, just in case we uh, we accidentally say something that, that, that we shouldn't uh, to Anna's uh, lovely audience. It's all right. I just see that Taco Legend is saying that Jack is a handsome leather band book, and I can completely agree with that. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Alexandra subscribing. Alexandra, welcome to the stream. Alexandra is another chess streamer and good friend of mine. All right, let's begin. I think we should start with the suit house bit. So it's going to be your time ticking. I will start okay. the clock and then I should ask you a question to which you will try to answer if you can. Let me get the clock. I'm totally bad at technical stuff, so I guess you guys have realized. So, the clock begins. The first question is just a normal one. How would you explain what is Suit House about to my mother? <laughs> to your mother? Yeah, because you're... <laughs> Apparently, my mom should like you, so please. Well, well, well she definitely should. Um... <laughs> So, so essentially, what what Suit House is is a, uh, a very uh, thorough and analytical commentary on uh, bizarre internet culture, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it's essentially mocking it in a very immature fashion and, and attempting to to be funny wh where we can. Uh, yeah, that, that's about as, as good as I can describe it. Your mom would like us. I don't know why, why wouldn't she like us. <laughs> <laughs> It's the answer I, I would give to that, but um, yeah, that's what it is in a nutshell. Don't, don't know if you have anything to add to that, Rihanna. Your mum might like seven of us, but she won't like Jack, because even Jack's mum doesn't like Jack. All right. <laughs> Rihanna is already in a warrior <laughs> mode. <laughs> that, I mean, she's always like this, but that was just unnecessary. I'm, I'm wounded from that comment. <laughs> 
What would you say about your content, Rihanna? What kind of videos do you produce? Um, hopefully funny ones. We try and be funny. I think it's, I mean, it started out with just a group of friends just memeing each other. And I think that's just how it's continued. But people have sort of decided they like us, which is nice, <laughs> I guess. Um, I guess we produce videos mostly making fun of people that take themselves too seriously, like people that think they're better than other people, like neckbeards and things. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Does Jack have anything else to add? Um, no, essentially we take the piss out of people on the internet. That, that's our thing. <laughs> uh, if you like it, that's great. <laughs> All right. I think that was a first good start. For first answer, pretty good. I think my mom might consider liking you. I will, sh I will ask her. First, I should translate it to Hungarian, and then she might consider <laughs> following. Or she might like the chess video. <laughs> so this is Soot House on YouTube. This is to my chess audience. We are talking about one of the best, if not the best, YouTube channel out there, right? Soot House, you should Google it and start following, start subscribing. I'm already a subscriber, but it doesn't show, which is weird. So yeah, now it looks like I'm not a subscriber. But I guess the time is up for suit house for the first round and i shall answer chess questions it's my bad okay okay right. your so, so turn are we asking any, any chess related queries you can ask okay. about anything that's like chess instruction or you can ask anything that you like okay uh... about chess events or chess people weird stuff hopefully not too weird Yes, so I mean, we're, we're talking about uh, uh, kind of the characteristics of people that play chess before. Mm -hmm. um, you said that they're not, not necessarily uh, intelligent, but but obviously very very tactical. Um, do you think it's very easy for for the average person to to get into chess? Because it, it, it's something that you kind of delve into, and you think, oh my god, there's so many strategies. Like it, it's typically like the, the intellectuals' game. I think for, from an outsider perspective, at least. Um, do you think it's going to be easy for us to, to learn how to play? Well, first of all, I think that you two are very intelligent. And huh. secondly, <laughs> <laughs> secondly, <laughs> you know, you two and the other six are not so, but no, I, I believe if we're already talking about the intelligence, I think that the kind of content you produce requires quite some intelligence. So I consider all eight of you very smart. Chess does not require that kind of intelligence. I think it's it's kind of a stereotype that we are smart nerds. Maybe it's sometimes the case, but other times it isn't. So it's easy to learn the rules. Some people think that they are very good after knowing how the pieces move and others are more perfectionist and they want to learn more. I don't think it has so much to do with the intelligence. Maybe it's just the type of things you are into. Like it's not supposed to be it's if you say chess you have this mental image of someone with glasses who go, who loves maths and uh, doesn't have friends but it's not really the case and that's what many of us here in the chess world are trying to prove that it isn't the case okay all right so was that a good answer or did yeah, i yeah, did no, i no, that, that, was a, that was a good answer uh I think a follow-up question to that would be, so when you're, I assume you've kind of, you know, I've seen you've taught people uh, doing chess before, obviously you've got like a, a whole guide on it, um, being, being the master that you are. Um, what do you find is like the, the easiest way to, to teach people how to learn? Do you kind of just play against them or do you let them play and then you comment on their moves or do you like teach them certain styles of play, like your, your style of playing, your, your signature? I think the best way is to try to make them understand what's behind the move because in chess there's three stages of the game it's called opening middle game and end game and the opening is something you can memorize so you can memorize the first moves if now I'm making moves on the board it could be like okay e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 blah 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 this is something you can memorize as if it was a poem and some people think that just by knowing the first 10 moves they are really cool and they're they are good at chess. I would say that this is not knowing chess. This is this is memorization. And what I suggest to everyone is to understand 
what's the purpose of each move? Like, why am I putting the bishop here? I want to take this knight so that I could capture the pawn. If I don't understand the reason behind the move, this is not playing chess. This is this is something like, yeah, trying to look cool and trying to think that you you know a lot because you memorized a sequence of moves. So I would I would focus on the strategy behind each move. What's the reason? Why do you play this move? What is the purpose of it? What is your plan? And what is the opponent's plan? Those are the main aspects I look at. Okay. That, that, that's going to be difficult for me to do, uh, first of all. As I'm not a very analytical person. And so uh, kind of predicting what, what my opponent might do is going to be difficult. But, it just takes um, practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's my turn. So, I'm, yeah, so yeah, happy. Yeah. I'm so happy I can ask more questions. Because I'm ever since the creepy chess comments was published, I'm a super fan of Suit House, and this is true. I think I've watched like eighty percent of your videos already, and you have like loads of videos. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. That's it's quite an honor. All right. Mm. Question. Let me get rid of the chess board. And. Well, uh... Dave, David and Georgia turning against <gasps> me in the chat. <laughs> Shout out to David and George. But is George here without Charlie? Is that possible? No, I'm, I'm sure Charlie is here. He's just lurking. He must be. It was just so funny when it was Rihanna who, who added me first. Like none of you were, we were not following each other on Twitter, not even after the video, because yeah. Maybe they thought it's not cool enough to, to follow a chess player. But Rihanna, <laughs> Rihanna took the first step. Rihanna took the first step. And then we started following each other. So I followed the rest of you guys. And at the very same, I get a notification, like at the very same moment, very same second, that George and Charlie from Suit House are following you. At the same time, same second, I have a screenshot of it. Every proof, every proof counts. They're, they're totally in sync. They're, they're essentially so like... They're always together. Yeah, they are. They're like wearing the same t-shirt. Like oh, same t-shirt, same bed, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Speaking of them, let's just present every member of Suit House. We are looking at the image here. Can you please introduce everyone, color by color, who they are and what are they famous for? What are they famous for? Oh, what? How would you describe them? Their main mm. characteristics, their main traits. Okay. Well, if I if I take uh, the first four from the left, Rihanna can take the. the oh, ones from thank the right. you, David from <laughs> Suit House, for subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's an honor to meet you and to have you on a chess channel, which is now a Suit House channel. <laughs> Taken over. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so on the, on, on the left, uh, otherwise known as Red Guy, is is your boy Dan. Uh, oh, Dan. I remembered Dan, Dan his probably... name. I remembered his name. You did. <laughs> you don't remember my name, but anyway, moving on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, a bit I'm, salty. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> um, Dan is the craziest one out of the group. Uh, if if you've seen his wildlife survival video, yes, um, that was a really cool one. The fan meetup and how you did not have anyone turning up, and yeah. then yeah, he had to go for food in the forest. Um, we got Charlie. Charlie is the twink of Soot House. Uh, no, no one respects him. He can't even read. I don't even know why he's here. Um, he's yeah, here to be our slave. He, he makes food. Yeah, he's only here because George is here. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I love Charlie. Um, yeah, George is all right. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. Yeah, George is all right. <laughs> um, David is obviously the man with the best voice on the oh. channel. Um, he's also very good at playing the symbols. Symbols. And, yeah. What uh, kind of symbols? Just you know the. The crashy uh, type. The, the crash. Oh. Like, okay, that's, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the, the one I should still learn. Right. Um, Randy, you, you can you can go ahead and describe the the four superior right. members of the house. Okay. Well, we'll start with Will. We'll continue. So he's the grey dude. He he's he's the one that brings us all together and makes us not a rambling mess of words and memes, I suppose. He he brings he brings us the the content 
to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, then there's the Jack. He's the uh, the bottom of the group, if you like. Um, you we know, already established that's Charlie. Don't, no don't. one, no one respects him. Like we say that it's Charlie, but really it's it's Jack. Like you know, no one really likes him. But but his mum pays us to hang out with him, so <laughs> we can do it. You know, just just, just call of money. Um, and then there's me. I'm obviously the queen of the house. Jack's my little slave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, and then there's Matt. Matt is Matt is the rare bean that no one, you know, he should be appreciated more because he, he comes out with some slammers. Uh, we love we love Matt. He's a ping pong champion. Is he? He's great. No, wow. he's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe everything you say, so you should know that about me. <laughs> and I'm the most naive person in the world. Um. Yeah. That, that's that's essentially that's the crew. All right. Do I still have time or I need to start answering chess questions because I would have a follow up question? Uh, go, go ahead. So we've got at least 32 minutes. All right. <laughs> These are the eight members of Soot House now. Well, I wanted to ask you about the beginning. So if I'm correct, on the 15th of April in 2017, George, Jack and Will did a video on Bulgarian real estate. Is this. that how did you come up with that? And why would you come up with that? How did it all start? I want to know about the beginning of Soot House. Well, well Soot House is kind of something that, that we just fell into, mm-hmm. I think. So So Will one day was looking at some strange Bulgarian uh, real estate site for, for no other reason other than he, I think he just kind of stumbled upon it. And, uh, Which is typical to stumble it. upon, right? You're just checking yeah, your Facebook just... <laughs> and then suddenly you want to buy something in Bulgaria. Yeah, well, sometimes you find yourself in a, in a rabbit hole um, <laughs> on the internet. You find some, some weird shit. Uh, yeah, I, I was playing World of Warcraft the entire time. I really didn't care. Um, <laughs> but uh, George and Will were taking a look at, at these things. And yeah, I guess it kind of just all, all led on from that. Describe us that day. I want to know. Where are you? And okay, you are playing World of Warcraft, but whose place it is? <laughs> um, well, well, we're all just at our own house. We're all, we're all recording on Discord. Um, I don't think George. Oh, and I so it was a planned was... recording no. already? No, no. So, so, so Will just started recording because he thought it'd be funny to, to oh. find, kind of get our reactions. Um, it's about four o'clock in the morning, I think. So. <laughs> Thank great. you, George, for subscribing. The next question will be about you and Charlie, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're all very uh, kind of delirious, I suppose, from, from being quite tired. And uh, I, I don't know, I guess the stars kind of aligned and we ended up with a really, well, in my opinion, uh, a pretty good video. So it was 4 a.m., um, Will calls you two and he's recording what you are telling him and what the three of you are talking about looking at these pictures of real estate in Bulgaria. Yeah, that's essentially it. And I think that's like our longest video. It's like 20 minutes or something, because we had no intention of it. Oh, let me let me bring it up, because we have here the, the videos. Um, I guess I need to, to go at the very bottom. This one is a beautiful picture. Who does the Photoshopping? <laughs> Um, Will handles all, all the thumbnails and, and the editing and that. So great taste, uh, great taste. I, I like the guy, I like the guy. Yeah. I mean, the one in the picture. He's hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I like the chest hair and uh, the beard. It's really fancy. Oh, definitely. All right. That was cool. I think I will have to answer questions now, but I'm, I'm, I just wish I could spend the whole time asking you guys questions. Hey, well, well, you're, you are just as interesting, if not more. So, no so I'll let ask, ask you a chess-based question. Is it my turn to ask a chess? Okay. Um, I suppose, like, how did you get into chess? Like, because I suppose when you're a kid, you play board games with your parents and stuff, and they teach you how to play different games. But, like, why did you, like, take it forward and make yourself, like, a chess master, I suppose? Um, I learned chess because my, my dad was a, well, I wouldn't say he was a chess player, but he liked chess a lot. So we had a chess set in the living room 
my sister and I, my sister is a year and a half younger than I am, and we would just play on the chessboard as if it was Lego, like building towers and using it for car tracks. That was, that was how we played chess. But then there was this computer game called Battle Chess, and in that game, the pieces, when you move the pieces, it's an animation, so they actually become like a human person. They move, they fight with swords when you capture, and it looked like so cool for a four-year-old <laughs> that we <laughs> wanted to learn it. <laughs> we had to learn how the chess rules are in order to play that game because the computer would not let you make illegal moves. We couldn't just fool around on the board. And that's how it all started. <laughs> Can't just well, I mean, smash. Battle it. chess is just the superior version of chess, really, isn't it? So it's like it's like wizard chess. It yeah, is. It but... is. I think Harry Potter stole the idea from battle chess, and battle chess was in <laughs> MS DOS. Like it was back in the day when the computers were like super old, and my dad was one of the first ones in our small town to have a computer because he was he was a teacher of of he was an IT teacher, and so he like he was the first in the city to have city. Now like, ten thousand inhabitants in in the town where I grew up. So we had this really old computer with this really old MS-DOS and the battle chess program on it. And that's, that's how I learned it. But competing was different because I would only play against my sister. I was super shy and I only wanted to play against her. We would go to the chess club because my dad was the chess teacher there. Well, we didn't want to face anyone else. Like we were, we, we just thought that's not cool to play against anyone else. So he started offering us Kinder chocolate in order to get us play against other children. And yeah, Kinder and Battle Chess, that's, those are my main sponsors. <laughs> they should be my main <laughs> sponsors because they started my chess career. Once we sure. got more, more Kinder chocolate and we realized that it's actually not too bad to play against other children and win games and win trophies, that, then I guess it just went. I, I haven't stopped ever since. Awesome. Right. I think uh, I think we should take a break from this and I think you should give us some Yeah, definitely. Chess. Oh chess no 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 no. I thought suit house question. You want okay, we can do that. I, I, I think we should we should kinda like switch it up. I wanna I wanna I wanna because switch we, we the like clock and, forth, so. and get rid of the board. And also I want I want to let everyone know on Twitch that from now on I will also pay more attention to the chat. Because I have had already some questions in mind, and I still want to ask a couple of questions. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> but if you guys want to know something about Suit House, about Jack, about Rihanna, or anything related to their content, feel free to ask your questions in the chat, and I might pick them when it's my turn to ask a question. So mentioning George, <clears throat> how did it all begin with between Charlie and George? Uh, how did it begin with Charlie? It was, a, it was a live video, wasn't it? The first live video. Yeah. yeah. Like sitting really close to George. Uh, Charlie was sitting like super close to George. Oh. I mean, as Charlie's the resident twink anyway, I think that he was just gravitated towards George's manly power. <laughs> I, I think it had, had roots before that. I, I think for some reason, Charlie and George has got an ungodly amount of fiction, uh, fan fiction written about them. Mm -hmm. like I see here we read our creepy fan fiction. That's one of the latest videos. Yeah, that, that's that's only like the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot, and I don't think any of us quite know why. But um, yeah, I guess they, they just have a lot of chemistry. I love how they play along. I think if we now switch to your channel, let's see if it works. As I'm supposed to be in the channel, please, guys, let us know if you still hear us. But now we are just showing the site, and in the video about the merch. I think that's one of my favorite videos, to be honest. <laughs> but I mean, I love all the content and they are super hilarious, but I like seeing you guys and you have just very few videos in which you are actually present. Your regular programming will and, continue after okay. Let, these short Let's messages. see if this is, okay, you can hear us. Hello. <laughs> I'm Dan from Soot House. I'm Hello. here to sell you merch. What the hell is up, uh, Soot House? Hey, here, <laughs> here we go with another merch video. <laughs> Buy that. Okay. <laughs> some merch here. This is some merch. So we will kind of be reading the chat at the same time. So you think we just have hoodies? We don't just have hoodies. We uh, also last have I said, Jack, why do you all sound the same? It's because we're all British. Get uh, <laughs> We've also like got t-shirts, believe it or not. England, over there, we have... Oh, can, exactly I get, can I get... Can I get... We have a mug. Uh, can take this for just one... 
15 dollars. Maybe a bit more like a man than, than oil, most people. But. If you want to, I don't know why you would. It's not exactly the common receptacle for oil. You drink from this, it's a chalice. What are you going to do? You Mead? Or like, I don't need. Well, that's awkward. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure people could hear. Maybe maybe the video was too loud. I think now if you now if you repeat what you said about the accent and why you sound the same, you don't sound the same. Well, I, I think if you've watched a few of our videos, you kind of get an inkling of, of who the individual voices are. But quite a lot of people have only seen like the, the more popular ones, I suppose. So uh, probably like without a name to a face, it, it's kind of hard to visualize. Hmm. I think. So, so people will be saying, so like, oh, hey, it's the yellow guy, or, or the, it's, it's the, the girl, mm -hmm. or rather, <laughs> actually knowing our names. Yeah, there's quite a funny bit in this video where uh, Charlie tries to go, like, full, full immersed into the George, and he tries to actually kiss George. Oh, I love George that one. Just, George just dodges it. <laughs> and George, I think that made George uncomfortable. <laughs> I think he was just playing shy for the camera. Oh, no, I think it's just... You know, apart from the amazing quality video that you guys uh, perform here, I also love the subtitles. Like, they are hilarious. Each bit of cotton is picked manually by Matt. Yeah. Yeah, Jack that, secretly that sniffs sure. all clothing, hoping a woman wears it. Well, well not all of them are true. <laughs> Well, that uh, one is, though. Yeah, they're all, they're all courtesy of Will, uh, with his high-quality memes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if it's... Like, the night before we filmed this, I was travelling down from uni to home, and obviously I have to transport the rats and Tally decided to chew a hole through my um the jumper that I was going to use oh uh, so I had, it, nobody saw it it was actually pretty well patched up but you mean yeah, the eat pant or the other one yeah the eat pant hoodie oh a, my like, you have a hole on the eat pant hoodie she decided to chew through it <laughs> somehow she got it from her cage I don't know how but she did Oh yeah, shout out to Rebecca Doodles who did the awesome, uh, like, stylized yeah, house top. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Is the logo also from her? So is it, yeah, is so it all so the design from Rebecca? Uh, uh, she only did the, like, the stylized one, like, the, the, the other logos and uh, I think uh, Will did before. He would already done for the channel. Oh, you want, you want everything? Soon the George part is coming. I'm waiting for that moment. It... Oh, there you I'm go. Not sure if it's, I'm there not you sure go. If it's funny or creepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, seeing the, uh, the the George and Charlie stuff, like, because I've known like, everyone in the house for like five years, four years probably at least. <laughs> and then people just start randomly shipping them and making very sexual fan fictions about them. It's a little, little disturbing. Also, yeah, this is all recorded in David's house, fun fact. He has many, many leather-bound books. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. David should be my new favorite, Soot House. Oh! Here comes the, the, the kiss. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Char <laughs> Charlie almost got it. Oh, I love well, that video so much. It, it was a very fun video to record. Oh, by the way, I think this is a good moment to announce. Uh, of course, all of you guys can buy the Eat Pen and the rest of the Suit House merch. And what we thought for today, if we get donations, well, the subscriptions also count, of course. So. All the fund that will come in from today's stream is going for merch, in a sense, merch and gear. So in my case, I will have to get myself an Eat Pant hoodie or Suit House t-shirt. And Rihanna and Jack will need to get themselves some chess gear. <laughs> well, I mean, I could probably find it. Find a pair of glasses and a, and a checkered shirt. I mean, <laughs> is, is that good enough for chess gear? <laughs> All right, I see um, Horster already with the link. Get your merch. Guys, click on it in the Twitch 
Twitch chat right now. That's where you can get Thank the Eat Pant you. hoodie and the Suit House t-shirt. Give us your hard-earned dollars. <laughs> uh, I think I've seen some questions to you, Jack, before. I need to scroll back. Okay. And then I will let you ask chess questions if you want. So Rebecca Doodles, is, is she a friend of yours? Or how, how did she get onto the designing of the Suit House um, logo? She's just a, a fan from the Discord. Oh. I think um, one, of, one of the artists and Will asked her to draw a logo and she did and it's awesome. So yeah, that, that's about the gist of it. It's really cool. I see Moobot was about to time out Suit David for three minutes for bad language. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. Typical. Typical. It's all right, Mubot, please. He's, he's a VIP. Mubot, please have mercy. <laughs> and yeah, Mubot is also linking the video to the creepy chess comments. Yeah, and I don't see the question, unfortunately. I hope to get more questions later on, guys. Let me know what would you like me to ask to Jack and Rihanna. In the meantime, they can ask me something and then we switch back while I see the questions. Because I'm running out of time. I don't want to waste the waiting time <laughs> on, on this. Thank you, Bigfoot, for subscribing. He's a great chess streamer from the Netherlands, probably taller than any one of us. <laughs> and yeah, the Bigfoot, literally Bigfoot. Definitely taller than Jack. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm an average height. Little J. <laughs> that's, that's Jack's rap name. Shut up. Okay. Um, okay, I've got the chessboard. Should, should we should we flip it over? Playing some chess. What do you right. know about chess? Like, you know how the pieces move, so I obviously don't need to tell you how the pieces move. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I understand how the pieces are, are allowed to move. Um, I've no semblance of, of where they they should move and what what's kind of tactical. Mm -hmm. I guess. Um, but you did participate in a children's tournament. Can we say that publicly? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, I was saying to Anna, obviously bragging about my accolades in chess, <laughs> um, that I, I was a, a participant in a chess tournament at the age of eight at my, at my school. And I did participate. And I think I, I won. I think no, I won one game. You won <laughs> one game. So why are we here? And why aren't you teaching <laughs> me chess? Well, because because I was eight, um, I'm now 21, so that was a, a long time ago, <laughs> and uh, probably not the highest quality chess game in terms of uh, of our elo, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> respectively. So, yeah, I, I haven't played chess uh, at all in any kind of serious way. So I'm I'm still in every sense of the word a newbie, and I, okay. I I'm sure once we're playing later, I will inevitably make all of Anna's fans cringe with how, how poor. <laughs> I uh, doubt that. I doubt that. But then let us know what do you remember from what you knew about chess or what you re yeah, what you still know, apart from how the pieces move. Do you remember, <laughs> like, did you, did you learn an ideal setup for the pieces? And what shall you aim for at the beginning of the game? Not at all. Not at all. I know that you've got to protect the king, obviously. Good. Good points. Lose. That's important. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the um, guy here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your back row pieces obviously move uh, in a more freeform manner than the pawn. So uh -huh. uh, I accidentally moved that. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. No, you can move. Okay, then I'll, I'll... I'll, I'll move it. Okay. Um, that's a great yeah. starting move. One E3. <laughs> well, it's no French defense. Um, oh, you even yeah. know opening names. Uh, I only know yours. Wow, I, I I'm some, honored. Some I'm well, honored. I mean, uh, <laughs> got to do some homework. Uh, I don't know anything about, about it other than uh, uh, E4 there. I'm um, impressed. Wait, if I'm impressing you, then I'm doing a good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so obviously keep the, the pieces that can move in a in a more strategic manner around pawns. You just kind of sacrifice, I, I would guess, uh, to, to, to gain some sort of advantage. I'm kind of just blagging it. I don't really know shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be relying heavily on, on your advice. But if I'm just going against Rana, then, you know. 
it goes without saying that, that I'll I'll defeat her anyway. All sure right. Uh, I'm not sure about that because I'm team Rihanna. I already announced it. So now, I'm, <laughs> Rihanna, look at we are going to move this pawn, the one in front of the king, two squares, which is a better move than Jack's move. And then, if the opponent knows how to play chess, they usually copy you. It's like a mirror. You will want to develop your minor pieces. Do you see this, the board still, or you might need to refresh? Do you see me moving with the knight and there's a yellow arrow? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. Cool. So minor pieces are the knights and the bishops. You will want to develop these first and get the king into safety. That's the first stage of the game. King into safety means castling. Castling is a funny rule that Jack, I believe, should know. So uh, is that where you like move the the rook and the king so they kind of exactly so to demonstrate that we will move first the minor pieces all right we have jumped out with the knight then we're gonna move the bishop here or here both are active squares you want the pieces to have quite many squares that they can attack so here the bishop is quite active and f7 is a weak square because it's next to the king but apart from that what all you want is to get rid of these pieces from the back rank so that you can move your king two squares. Let me right. show you how it looks. You move the king two squares, and then magic happens. The rook is going to fly to the other side. This is called castling, and this is supposed to be safe because now the king has three bodyguards in front of him and the right. rook next to him, plus the knight here. So this is supposed to be a safe king situation, and that's what you should be aiming for at the beginning of the game before you crush Jack. First safety, then you go for the kill. Okay, yeah. So I, I had some idea of what I didn't know it was called castling, but um, yeah, I, I think I think I, I had some idea of of how that worked. So so that that's kind of the first stage is that you, you defend your king and then you kind of move the rest of your pieces to to attack. Yeah, uh, yeah, that whatever. would be my tip. Get the king okay. into safety and then you can go for for an attack and always try to de develop your pieces. Not try, not moving the same piece multiple times, but developing the rest of the pieces. Moving one each, that would be ideal if you don't move the same piece multiple times, unless it's necessary. But it's my turn, I think, and I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy yeah, about yeah. it. All right, let's get rid of the chessboard. And I will look at the chat. Guys, right now, Twitch audience, if you want to ask a question to Jack and Rihanna, I still have plenty of questions, by the way. So I, f I feel like 19 minutes is not enough for my questions. I want to know everything. Right. Well, that, that's what we're here for. <laughs> I want to know about the process of creating those videos. You already mentioned how the first one was, but I would like to know from the beginning, like you need to have an idea. You need to get some resources some material that you will look at then you need to record it and then you need to edit it like can you talk about those four for me yeah well i mean fortunately we have will to be our editing monkey who essentially <laughs> arranges uh, all of the funny people in the group to uh, mm -hmm. uh kind of uh give the video uh, its content so essentially what will happen is we just go into a discord call and then uh, we're linked images usually by Will, who will say, hey, read this, or look at this, whoa, it's crazy. <laughs> and, then, and then they kind of build the video on from there, mm -hmm. really. Um, we usually try and have all of us when we can, but sometimes people drop out. Uh, we only have uh, a certain few people in the video, but yeah, that, it's how most of them are done, really. It's very true to the original art form uh, of, of the first video. Is this a trademark of Soot House, or did you have the idea from which other channels do you like? And so which other channels do you consider like a role model for the type of content you create? Um, I, th I think the whole idea is kind of based on uh, a guy I think we're mostly inspired by called Seth on YouTube Seth, uh, with like, hmm. two S's at the start. Hmm. Um, who kind of made an okay Cupid video in, in the same kind of style as what we do. And uh, we kind of took, uh, well, not like kind of carbon copy, but uh, took, took inspiration for that idea, kind of gave our, our own twist. We, we got like more people, obviously. Um, we kind of try and add voices to it, uh, make it uh, a little more uh, interesting to, 
to kind of watch i guess and i think i guess it's successful because because people like it but um yeah were you surprised by how successful it was from the first video that you published definitely yeah yeah so i, I mean i think the first five or six videos um didn't get many views a couple of hundreds uh maybe because we kind of shared them around with our friends and at the um, beginning it had a couple of hundred hundreds yeah yeah um so i think that's it was that way for about three months we, we didn't really try too hard with it and then i think we released one video which was worst bedrooms in 4chan which is our, our third most viewed yeah, as soon as we released videos about 4chan and reddit i think we just it kind of just got out of our control it kind of blew <laughs> like, up yeah yeah at first it was just like we do the odd video no like there's no schedule but now we have like a schedule and things to actually do so when was when when do you think was the turning point was it at, at about after three months that suddenly this one video the verse bedrooms on 4chan was that that the one that blew up the channel um, yeah, but, yeah i mean the bootleg one i think i think that was like the first blow up and then the i think the bootleg one was like where we actually like proper like memed our way into people's hearts i suppose because hmm. that was like that's the eat pound one and that's what everyone i guess knows us for yeah why is the merch <laughs> so i love that one i need to get that hoodie guys you should donate to us if you want us to get the merch so <laughs> chess gear for jack and rihanna and i need i need an eat pant hoodie i need it i swag. need it <laughs> <laughs> how can i live without an eat pant hoodie I think we're still running into your time, by the way, here, Anna. You've not, <gasps> you've not changed the Oh, either. wait, that's perfect. I mean, I was not going to <laughs> cheat, but I'm happy that I did. You did on purpose. You did on purpose. All right. <laughs> so my turn, my question should be, um, yeah. So you said, Rihanna, that now you have a schedule. Can you tell us about how often you need to record, like how much time it takes? If you take us through like an an average day of recording at Suit House as it is now, um, well, because Jack's a loser <laughs> and he has to he has to rage in well um, for you know certain days a week. We decided that Tuesday was the best day, so we do recording. We start up well. We usually start at like ten p.m. Mm -hmm. and then we'll record one or two videos but sometimes we start at eight and it just it kind of depends if it's like if it's like um if we feel if we're feeling it sometimes we're just not in the mood to make good videos so we just don't bother it, it, it's all about the mindset i think yeah <laughs> if we're not like because before we're recording the video we're already like playing games or we're, we're chatting absolute mm -hmm. shit to each other and um, before I had to kind of get us in the mood to because all of the comedy is kind of improv right well, it is Jack, Jack uh, is dead inside uh, uh, I am dead inside um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah all, all the comedy is kind of off the cuff uh, it's none of it's like scripted all of the the laughing is kind of genuine um it, it's literally just all of us looking at, at shit on the internet and just having, having a good time and kind of giving an authentic look at like how, how we do that, which I think is kind of the reason why it comes across so well um, in quite a lot of the videos, because it's just us looking at things that we find generally like hysterical and then just kind of sharing it with, with people that hopefully have, have the similar sense of humor. I think it does come through that it's authentic and that you, you, genu you genuinely like what you're looking at and you find it funny. So it's not, yeah, it's not acting. Yeah, we scripted it and we were like, no, like... It, it, we, would, it yeah, would be a it lot worse if it, was, if it was scripted, I think. Oh, for sure. How much editing does it take? Like, if it's on an average recording day, do you record like hours of material and then it ends up being a three minute video? How much material do you record in general? Mm, I'd say, uh, would, you, would you say it's about an hour, an hour and a half usually, Rihanna, for like each each video probably, and because there's quite a lot of. Uh, so much material we have for a video, really, and how yeah. meme we are. Like, if we're like in a really fun mood, it takes longer because we're just fucking around, really. <laughs> Which I think that produces a better video though if we're fucking around yeah. more. And sometimes, like, it's just not funny. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we get to the end of a video and we're like, was that shit? 
yeah, it's kind of shit. Um, <laughs> so uh, a lot of the time we, we kind of drop ideas or, or the videos get edited down uh, quite heavily because a lot of the time uh, the jokes don't really hit the mark. I think it, it's really important that we can watch the videos after the fact and laugh at them, even though we were there and mm. we're making the jokes. And it seems a bit vain, but um, <laughs> I think I think we all uh, enjoy each other's sense of humor and like uh, the, the kind of comedy that that comes from from just uh, <laughs> just <laughs> having a good time on our own. And so yeah, it's, I think we're we're very ch we're very picky about what videos we release. And I think we we'd probably be releasing a lot more content if we just recorded loads of videos as soon as we could yeah. um regardless of how good they were i think we, we try and really release the best stuff that we have oh that's awesome and you mentioned tuesday so tomorrow is a recording day yeah the designated recording day oh um, i guess i cannot ask about the topic any hint on the topic <laughs> um we actually know the topic know. until you don't know yeah. the topic <laughs> No. There, there, there is a, a video on its way about a certain group of uh, individuals that are unlucky in love. Oh, oh, oh. Are we actually publishing that. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, Will, Will's teased it a bit on his Twitter. All right. Oh, that's awesome. I want to ask more questions, but let me let me have a look at the Twitch chat because I feel like I'm I'm very selfish. I'm asking all the questions I want and I'm not looking at the chat. Thank you so much, everyone, for the cheers and the bits. We are going to spend them on the merch and chess gear for Jack and Rihanna. I'm sure they are very excited about getting some chess gear. What, yeah, would, <laughs> what would you like to get from the fans? What what chess stuff are you looking forward to owning? Mm, I I think I want a I want like the most ironic shirt possible, like something that has like chess written in like massive letters <laughs> on the front, <laughs> like it's just possibly like the nerdiest thing you could possibly imagine. Um, I, I want that. I, I want a chess hat as well. No, Jack oh. wants a solid gold chess set. <laughs> <laughs> as if I don't already have one of those. Oh, and Rihanna. I just want a lot of leather bound books. I know, I know. But Those are the, the best. It's going to be a lot of skeezy hentai. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's my sister <laughs> donating to us so that we can get the merch. <laughs> Kata, thank you. thank you. She's next door. She's, she's here with me in Spain and donating from the next room. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kata. Guys, that's what you should do. You see, my sister, she wants Jack and Rihanna to get that chess gear that they deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie Meron uh, in the Twitch chat said, Jack is so close to sleeping, I can tell. Um, I, that's just that's just me. I'm, I'm so emotionally deprived. He just and, has no emotions. Yeah. <laughs> I, I constantly look like I'm about to fall asleep. That, that's just my face. It's just a weird face. I think George wants wants to see your sister. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and then do it. He'll kidnap her. God. What a rascal. <laughs> I thought George was in a relationship with Charlie. Oh, he, he's always cheating on Charlie. <gasps> poor Charlie. Does he? Yeah, poor Charlie. Oh. Well, I hope that he's not watching so he will not know about it. <laughs> it's just gonna be on Twitch and YouTube and you know, no way to figure it out. <laughs> I switched the clock because I wanted the chess time to tick while you were talking about the chess merge um, <laughs> on purpose. But you can ask anything else if you want, unless I will switch back and it's suit house. Hmm. Well, the things I, mo I mostly want to ask you is about like chess strategies. So I don't know if that actually sure. to, to, to the second kind of half there. If is there any any other burning questions you have for for us uh, such dudes? Oh, a lot. I could spend the whole stream <laughs> asking questions. <laughs> if if you've got the questions and and keep them rolling. All right. Awesome. I wanted to ask. You mentioned that Rebecca has drawn the logo, and I also realized that you guys get a lot of cartoons and animations like on a daily basis i see on the twitter of one of you at least something that was drawn by a fan how do you feel about yeah. being such a celebrity that you get the this kind of treat from the fans 
uh, it's really weird using the the term celebrity because like aren't I, you I a celebrity we, well I, I know a couple of us have we like gone outside and yeah. been kind of recognized um i've i've not had that yet uh feels bad <laughs> <laughs> you don't go out enough that's true i don't i just don't go outside um <laughs> yeah it, it, I, I appreciate e everything that, that that people draw of us that anyone that takes the time to to kind of draw us or all my friends it's, it's kind of like that's kind of mind-boggling to me that we've had such an impact on people some people draw things that they're a little distasteful um, <laughs> are you referring to rihanna's request on Excuse getting <laughs> that is the gift that keeps on giving like i get i get at least <laughs> one a week now and it makes me happy to see jack in his natural form <laughs> If you yes. guys don't know what we are talking about, can someone please link Rihanna's Twitter? You see the handle there, but if someone can please link her Twitter. And this is the pinned tweet, I believe, with all the beautiful art about Jack that you have requested. Yeah, I, I mean, I I very much appreciate people taking the time to draw me. <laughs> uh, it's somewhat lessened <laughs> by the fact that it, it's of me as an anime schoolgirl um, <laughs> in some sort of... Uh, what's the word a scandalous position it's not <laughs> it's very uncomfortable for me but i i kind of appreciate it i guess he's he's just pretending that he he doesn't have a wardrobe full of anime schoolgirl outfits i i don't i don't even have a wardrobe <laughs> a, a bed full like he has a yeah he he hides it under his bed because he's ashamed yeah yeah that's it <laughs> Um, I think Rihanna gets like quite a lot of fan art, maybe more than like anyone. Hmm. So I'm not sure if that's just because she, she's the token girl. But <laughs> and when did it start? So you you mentioned that after Three Mouse, it was it was about when the video started becoming popular. Did you see this this influence on the fans right from that moment on? Was it the last couple of months? And and how did you get used to it? Um. Yeah, so I think when that video started blowing up and we were getting like, uh, I think the video got to 100,000 views and all of us were, were flabbergasted, really. We, we, <laughs> we didn't really know what to do with ourselves because we thought it, there was a joke amongst us that we just like view botted all of them. None of them were real and it was kind of, it was kind of just a, a whole joke because it didn't seem real. Um, but after that, uh, we made a Discord server, the, the, the renowned Sir House Discord server. That, that people uh, love and cherish so much and people started joining it obviously actual real people and uh and talking and, and drawing things from from the video and of, of us and it's kind of all all grown from that where can people join if i want to join where shall i go to join the discord group uh well in the description of every video we've got a, a link to, to join the discord. description of every video all right so let's yeah, so Let's figure it out. That's a familiar face. We will talk about that a bit later because I have some questions about that video. <laughs> Speaking of the Discord, I'm going to expand this link in the, uh, the general chat. Oh, yeah, in the chat, please. And I will also show on YouTube if you click on any video. And we've got the link to the merch, the gang. You should follow all of them on Twitter, media, and the Discord. All right. So this is where you should click, and I'm going to do that as well. Do you participate in the Discord chat? Like, can people see you there, or it's ma mainly for the fans so that they can talk? I think some of us do. Um, I get a bit shy, so I, I don't as much as I should. But that's because like, when you join, people will just screech at you. <laughs> like, <so. laughs> Rihanna! And then you come back out again. And then we have like like smaller ones for mm. like Patreon people and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I also just to make a point of the uh, the fan art, like, I think we're all very grateful with the fan, like I especially, like it makes my day when someone gives me fan art. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it was very, it was a bit of shell shock, I suppose, when we first started getting all this fan art and stuff. Uh, we, were, we were a bit like, whoa, what's going on? Like... <laughs> We, we were just like a bunch of friends making videos and now people kind of like us. So. That's just awesome. Where do you where do you think this can go? Do you do you have any plans for the future or you just want to see how how far this can get? Yeah, uh, 
we, we just... can sell Jack's hair online, make some money. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we're just going to continue doing what we're doing because we have a, a blast doing it. Uh, we love interacting with the fans. I think uh, quite a few of us try and get involved in the Discord when we can. Um, I think when we had our one year anniversary, um, so to speak, uh, we had like a, a Discord Q&A and, and things like that. And we've got a lot of active mods, uh, admins, and there's like, there's thousands of people uh, in, in the Discord server. Uh, it's usually quite active in, in the general chat. So yeah, it, it, it's a really great community and, and we try and poke our heads in now and then to, to keep ourselves grounded. I suppose not letting the, the fame go to our heads um, or whatever. Uh, like we always try and reply to messages and and uh, all that. That is really cool. Any questions in the chat? Because I know I am super selfish and I still have questions, but let's just pretend that I, I want to let other people ask questions to you guys as well. Let's see. Mods are the best. I agree with you, Harstar. Harstar is a, my moderator. Thank you so much for for not banning suit David. <laughs> that was kind <laughs> of you. <laughs> Can't chain the David. Oh, there's a question from Field of Blue. You might, if you want to answer or you you don't want to answer, there is a question whether you guys are dating. Can't date what you own. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, not, we're not dating. We are very good friends. We are, we are the best of pals. That, All that right. Hard. So David is saying <laughs> Jack, are Jack and Rihanna dating but with exclamation marks? So I don't know what that means. <laughs> And I'm, I'm dating David anyway, so I, oh. I really be unfaithful to him. So there are many internal relations. It's George and Charlie, Jack and David, Rihanna, and and Twitch. Can we see Twitch, or sh or he's not <laughs> he's around? Gone. He's, uh, gone back home. <laughs> oh, that's a pity. Twitch is Rihanna's red. She's got four. I already saw Twitch at the beginning of the setup when we were preparing for the stream. Um, oh, I should teach them bonk cloud opening. I would teach them if I knew what it was. Distant fire, best of Paul's sophist saying. David <laughs> claims that he didn't know anything about that. Jack, <laughs> <laughs> he's well, denying he's just, it all. <laughs> he's just shy. All right. Jack, you can't just say you're dating someone. That's not how life works. <laughs> This is, how you get, this is how you get law Either law that involved. he's been leading me on. We had a, we had a hot day to KFC on, on, uh, on <laughs> Sunday. So if that, if that isn't love, I don't know what is. Someone's asking if you've got a neck beard, Jack. Um, a little bit. I've got a little scruff. Uh, I don't grow beards very fast <laughs> at all. Um, he's so. like a hairless seal. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. David but has confirmed the, the KFC date, so, and you caught a movie. Oh, that 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 must have been a romantic date. We did. Um, it was Infinity War, so it wasn't perhaps the most romantic movie. Oh, were you holding David while he was crying at the ending, or was yes. it the other way around? Yes, we were we were mutually <laughs> crying into each other's arms. <laughs> Lovely. I see some questions about Will and me. Well, that's a mystery. There are some rumors that Will is also going to appear on stream, but this is just a rumor I cannot confirm. Which yeah, videos are your favorite? <laughs> that is a question to both of you from the ones that you have made. And then we um, can look at some of them. Rihanna, you can go first. Um, oh, I like the Meverse one. I think that one was quite funny. Um, let me take a little look. At the soot house. Um, I really like the hentai one, but that got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> why why did it get deleted? Um, because David, at the beginning of the of the uh, video, David had a line that said, "Come in my ass," and YouTube didn't like that too much, so it got deleted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. It had a lot of inappropriate imagery. Nothing like. It didn't have it actually didn't have appropriate imagery. It was just. Oh, no, but it, it implied a lot of inappropriate imagery. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, th there wasn't a lot left to the imagination, which is the main problem. Uh, I mean, some of them are quite, um, like, mind-opening. I didn't know what incels were until I had, we made the video of General Sam. 
I mean, I, I kind of, I couldn't live without not knowing what they were, though, to be fair. Hmm. <laughs> They're all fine young gentlemen that, uh, that clearly uh, have a hatred for women. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's totally rational. Uh, I'd say my favourite video to record is probably either the Scottish People Twitter one hmm. um, or the Beans one. The, the Beans one was kind the of one of those... The Beans one was a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it was one of those videos that was very uh, random and kind of... <laughs> it, it, it was so fun to record because we were just laughing the entire time. I think we maybe we were recording for two hours and it got shortened down so much because a lot of it was just us laughing and... Um, which one is the beans video? I must admit, I, that one I haven't seen. Uh, it, it's pictures of beans in places that beans should not be, which is uh, in quite a lot of places, apparently. How old is that video? I might be in too much at the bottom of the um, list. Oh, the one where we read the Harry Potter written by an AI. That one was quite funny. It, it, oh, of pictures of beans. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. This one I haven't seen. So I should put it on my watch list. <laughs> Will Rihanna be the only women in Soot House? Yes. Uh, the answer to that is probably. We don't. We don't know. If you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think the Soot House cast is is uh, static as it is uh, for the moment. Yeah, forever probably. So how did it grow from the three of you that you did the first video to an eight-member crew? Well, we've all been uh, in the same kind of friendship group for, for mm -hmm. four or five years. I think I met Rihanna in college in mm -hmm. 2013. So, so we've known each other for quite a while. And we've all just kind of been good friends, really. And so when George, Will and I uh, did this video and everyone was like, oh, this is funny, let's all do it. Um, kind of just, yeah, everyone wanted to join in. So the second video was already the same eight people. Uh, I don't. I don't remember if it if it was everyone. I, I'm not sure yeah. if. I think um, I was in the dark underbelly one for like five. Yeah, seconds. I think I think that was your debut. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was in the second one. Um, maybe it was the Brony Dating Network one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> I used to know like the kind of cast of every single video off by heart, but over time, we'd, I'm we'd pretty sure them. Will has an Excel spreadsheet of who's in what video. Oh. Because Will enjoys his Excel spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah. Does he? Will, so what, what are those yeah. Excels about? He, he has a an almost worrying uh, passion for, for Excel spreadsheets <laughs> and graphs and charts. L literally tracking like everything. I think before like the whole Sit House thing even started, he it would make spreadsheets of uh, people's like uh, characters in DayZ. And, uh, and so like, like who's more likely to attack? Like, uh, like AI and Civ Five and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, he's, he's mad. He's, yeah, he's things that you you learn about your husband. Well, uh, it's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. I got I somehow managed to get YouTube frozen, but I will edit once once again, and we can look at some of the videos that you like. Yeah, great. Uh, Noxious asks, does Will store his spreadsheets in Leatherbound Books? Um, no. <laughs> uh, the Leatherbound Books is, is more of a recent development, I think, but uh, he definitely should. I want to ask you about that as well, but I want to go back to the video just a second, if you can, in the meantime, pay more attention to the chat. I see David is very active. I, I like that. David, you're, you're becoming now my favorite. <laughs> I, I'm keeping a ranking between you eight. And it's changing all the time. Like you get Alo, like in chess. <laughs> so David is gaining for, for being so active in the chat and admitting a, his relationship to you. He's a good boy. You all seem to be good boys. That's why I was, I, I saw some comments about, like, I think like you have a really like nice group of audience that's like super fans, but you also have some haters. And the haters... <laughs> okay, you don't see them, all right. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> you, you ignore them. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is that I just thought that they were unfair because some of the comments I saw or some tweets was about saying that you guys are... You, are, you just ridicule other people 
uh, with no respect and basically it's like yeah, in internet trolling bully, like, being bullied like i think uh what 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 makes us not trolls in the like internet trolls or like just like yeah. beating on other people is that we kind of go for people that have already spread hate to other people and we kind of just make fun of how their logic is flawed hmm. uh, i think we have we we always do try and be quite careful to not turn into like you know assholes that just beat on everyone else you know but i yeah. mean it's like incels who are like oh i hate this person because they look more attractive than me and they're they should be killed like we're like well what <laughs> <laughs> like you actually believe this or like you actually believe that princess peach is your girlfriend you might need some help <laughs> I, I think, how do yeah. you find those stuff so maybe i should ask will how does he find those stuff yeah so, so usually it, it's will who will kind of infiltrate the, these groups and kind of uh, gather a lot of the content um like the, the indian roleplay one for example he, he signed up for a lot of different indian uh roleplay facebook pages and he kind of uh, uh got a lot of content from that i, I think um, one big thing to remember is that when you post things on the internet it it should be open for criticism yeah um, especially when it it's like regarding things that are kind of painting other people in a hateful manner so we, we did the video on uh, the, the perma virgins uh, <laughs> of reddit otherwise known as insults and and they say oh i hate i hate women uh, I, I want them to to die i i hate people that are better looking than than i am yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, it, it's not it's not fair to kind of say that you're being made the victim in that sense when you're kind of just when you want the whole of womankind to die because they're not having sex with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, we censor every single person uh, in our videos. There's no kind of naming and shaming, really, unless they're they're on some kind of public platform. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we, we make positive videos about people. Like if you send yeah. the, the African special effects one with our... our yeah, favorite, that's an amazing one. Our favorite director, Roxanne Emmanuel, we, we, we praise him constantly because his videos are, are hilarious. And you also um, messaged him and so that we will contacted him on his Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> he, he must have made his day. But I, well, I um, thought that you are not internet trolls because you are not the kind of people that just criticize others. I feel like all of you have the the personal trait of being able to laugh at yourself first and then at others. So if you have this attitude that you don't mind being loved at and you don't mind making a fool of yourself, then everything else that you say is just, it, you, they cannot say that's not respectful. Yeah, I think we make fun of ourselves first. Yeah. It's like in the, yeah. the previous video where where I think George was like, oh, David, you've lost weight. And David was like, come on now. Like, <laughs> <you know? laughs> I remember that really picture. Good. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's just, a, I think we get a lot of, I think everyone gets a lot of criticism online. I think it, that's how the internet works though. So, sure. Like, I mean, like some of the comments on our, um, I think our live videos, like everyone's like, you know, make poking fun at the guys and stuff. So it's, I think it's just, yeah. it's just how the internet works. <laughs> sure. Any questions from the Twitch chat? Oh, my sister's joining the chat as well. Okay. She's after donating now, she's joining you guys here on Twitch. Hey, Suit House, how did you find Anna's channel? Well, um, good point. <laughs> yeah. I think David's kind of, kind of hit that one on the head there, which is, uh, he he pretty much opened our eyes to to Anna's wonder, wonderful uh, uh, chess YouTube channel. David <laughs> ga David gaining even more points, but was it really? <laughs> George is coming into chat with his sister. Got in your comment section. But I I really I really didn't understand how did you guys end up looking at that. So what, do you do you take suggestions from fans or it's simply that you just find whatever you can find? I think um, Will just has a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Partly that. I think we, sometimes we, we do take uh, ideas from fans. I think the 
the teenage relationship advice one, the, the student room one was a, a suggestion from someone uh, on Discord. So, so we've done things like that before and, and people have obvious, obviously come to us and on Discord and on Twitter and say, hey, you should do this. And, and we look at it and, and we try and think of, we'll try and see if there's enough content for us to kind of make a video out of it. Um, so they don't fall on deaf ears, even though sometimes it, it feels like it might. Nice. Someone suggested the other day that we look at an app called French Girls, where you post a picture of yourself or someone else and people draw it. And it's they're quite funny. Hmm. But Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of the time it, it, it's Will that will get the content for it, as he's the... The creative control, I, I suppose, in terms of the editing and the kind of telling uh, us who's gonna who's gonna read what or things like that. So I so. should repeat the questions when I get him on stream, and it's not International <laughs> Jazz Day, and he's jamming. Yeah, indeed. Awesome. Oh, Rihanna, <laughs> George is asking you not to expose him. <laughs> I'm just trying to pr preserve George. <laughs> Stop trying to shut up other people, George. God. If you message David video ideas, they'll be ignored. That's what you mean, David. One question about my video as well, if I can be that uh, selfish and egocentric. No, 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 of course. The... I felt like you guys must have known how to play chess. I mean, or have some kind of knowledge of chess, but I, I didn't know which one of you, like, out of the eight how many of you can play chess and who knew that you say the title as I am because we have a title I mean we have several titles but my title is international master and we say international master or I am and you guys said it in the video so I was like how on earth do you know that <laughs> um I think I speak for all us when we say it's very much uh, us being on the outside looking in in terms of uh the, the pro chess scene and um and chess is like a kind of a a sport in general rather than just the you know the kind of chess that people play when they when they're bored at, at school or something like that uh so yeah I don't, I don't think any of us have like much of a knowledge of it other than knowing what the pieces do uh i don't think any of us like have played it seriously. i barely know what the pieces do so Oh, shall we have a look at that? <laughs> oh, I should stop the. I should switch the watch. Anton squared me in the chat. Anton squared me. Thank you so much once again for the art that you created for us. If you guys have seen our social media posts, the image of Jack and Rihanna playing chess with the beautiful leather bound bookshelf in the background, that's Anton squared me, and he has just joined us now on Twitch. He does some amazing stuff, especially. With chess pictures. I was going to open something and I forgot because I'm a complete mess. I think, oh, I wanted to stop the watch because your one is running and that's unfair. <laughs> Rihanna, this is, how you be, this is how you beat Jack. You only need one lesson to beat Jack, to be honest. I've seen what <laughs> I have, I've seen one. what I have seen. I, I think you're underestimating me. <laughs> As a, as a chess participant at, at, at the age of eight, I, I think you're not giving me enough credit. Oh, not at all. But I, I have... Wait a second. Now that I... Okay. I need to change this. One second. Back to chess. Oh, I've been kicked out by my own computer. Do you guys still see the border? I might have... No, I need to go back. Apologies. Now this is going to take me a moment. They are playing on chess.com playing. Well... You can play, analyze, or do anything you want on chess.com. Jack was the first out of Suit House to have a chess account. So I'm very proud of you, Jack. That was an extra point on my on my ranking for you. But Rih Rihanna <laughs> you got us, do you? Rihanna got a lot more points for following me first on Twitter, so that cannot be compensated. Oh. All right, Rihanna, do you know how the pieces move? It's two of them. Two of them. All right, which ones? <laughs> Which one? The pawn moves forwards. <laughs> the pawn moves forwards. All right, that's great. The pawn moves forwards. Only forwards. Cannot go backwards. Only piece that cannot go backwards. At the start, you can move it one square or two squares. Only when it's on the second or seventh rank. You see the numbers next to the pieces. 
The second rank is where the pawns start, where the vine pawns start. If I push this pawn one square, later it can only go one at a time. If you haven't pushed them yet, this one on d2, it can you can decide whether you want to push it two, two squares or just one square. These are the pawns. Which other piece do you know? Uh, the My Little Pony dude, he can move diagonally. <laughs> your, your Little Pony dude. <laughs> this one. This one, Little Pony dude. Yeah. All right. It moves in an L shape. That's the one. That's so, the, which one moves diagonally? The bishop? The bishop. The bishop. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. <laughs> so the Little Pony dude moves in an L shape. That is two squares straight and one to the left or to the right. It jumps. This is the only piece that jumps. Jack is a dad. Thank you for the cheer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the color. It was noxious. Thank you for the oh. cheer for Jack. David's going to sleep. Good night, David. Oh, good night, David. Thank you for good joining night, us. You gained loads of points today. I will need to update my ranking. Hope you have a good day at work tomorrow, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the little pony dude is done. Um, and then the rest of the pieces, you said that the bishop, you know, in diagonal, yeah. right? Yeah. So you have one of each color. One bishop moves only on light squares. This one can only go on light squares. This one can only go on, on dark squares. I'll just make one move each. So now you see this one will only move always on light squares and this one is always on dark squares. Only diagonals. What else? How do the rooks move? No idea. <laughs> Any guess? Jack, help me out, boy. Uh, it, it's only horizontally, uh, as, as far as they can. Or vertically, I guess, not, not diagonally at all. Only horizontally, yeah. Let me try to get the rooks out. I'm just making some moves. Let's castle and castle and so we get the rooks out. So it can move straight. Up, down, to the left, to the right, horizontally, vertically, the way you want to call it, and as far as it can go. So at the beginning of the game, the board is full of pieces, and the rook have the rooks don't have much space to move. The more the more pieces you trade, the more the rook and the queen will gain power because there will be more room for them to conquer. So the queen, how does the queen move? Can't she move any direction? Yeah. Or is it the king? In every okay. possible direction. Except for the knight. It cannot jump, but it can move horizontally, vertically, in diagonal. It's the most powerful piece. And the best piece. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough to beat Jack. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I mean, possibly. Uh, under, your, under your tutorage, maybe. <laughs> We might have more sessions in the future, but I think this was <laughs> just enough to beat Jack. About the pawns, just one thing that is important about the pawns, that the pawns can promote. It means that, that when the pawn gets to the other side of the board, and now um, I don't know how to demonstrate it, I will need to cheat. Let me cheat. I need to make loads of moves. Okay, we go. International master, <laughs> cheating at chess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got it. <laughs> this dude, <laughs> the little dude on C7, every square has a name and you can read it as if it was, there's a letter and there's a number, but it's not so important to know what's the name of each square. So this guy is about to promote. It means that your pawn has approached the back rank of the opponent. It got to the other side of the board and when it gets there, it becomes the piece you want. You place it there. Okay, now I have picked the queen because that's the strongest. But you can choose any. You, it can be a queen, a rook, a bishop, a knight, anything but a queen, but a king. King can only be one on the board. And the objective of the, the game is... What's the ob objective in chess? To beat Jack and make him look like the idiot he is. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that's the rule. That's the rule. And apart from that, to give checkmate. So the more pieces you have, the more queens you have, the stronger pieces you have, the easier it is to give checkmate to Jack. Well done, Rihanna. So once you, once you get to the end and you promote your, your pawn, right? 
yeah and this you, this you is a bad move here because it gets taken so it's there's yeah, no point to promote when it gets captured but i just wanted to show how it looks yeah so is, is there any reason to, to have it as anything other than a, a queen or a knight because the queen can just move in it the same as any other piece except the knight so. yeah most of the times it would be a queen but there are very rare cases when the position would be a stalemate with a queen. A stalemate is a position right, when okay. your opponent cannot move. Let's say he only has one king on the board. You've got my no... mum wouldn't let me win though, so I got bored <laughs> of constantly losing. Your mum's mean. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I hope I hope we are still okay. Something with the internet. Okay. Are we back? I think oh. it froze down yeah, for a moment. Yeah. 